Hi everyone, welcome to Andy and Amy on Biz, and today we're going to do a screencast on Social Toaster. This will be screencast one of three, and today we're going to focus on how to sign up for Social Toaster as an ambassador and give you a general overview of what Social Toaster is. As you can see on the screen, I'm on the Social Toaster website, which is www.socialtoaster.com, and we did an interview on the podcast with Brian Rizak of Social Toaster, so we explained there what Social Toaster is, but I'll do it quickly here as well. Social Toaster is basically an application and a set of tools that allows you to publicize your content basically so if you're doing it on a blog on a blog or on a podcast or you're putting posts out and, and generating content you can use social toaster to publicize and push out that content to your friends who social toaster call ambassador and so your ambassadors can be personal friends they can be business friends they can be friends of your website or show depending on what sort of niche you're in and just anybody that's willing to promote your site for you and the way that they do that is they sign up to be an ambassador of your site and once they're an ambassador they basically have given you permission to push content out to them and that content will be distributed via their social networks so the four that are supported right now by social toaster are linkedin facebook twitter and myspace and so you can push content out to any of those four platforms for your ambassadors on a case-by-case -case basis and your ambassadors will get an opportunity to decide if they want the posts that you give them to go up automatically or if they want to be able to look at them and approve them or disapprove them before they go up so they get an infinite amount of control over what happens to the to the posts that you push them and they get to pick which platform they distribute it on as well so someone could potentially distribute posts for you on LinkedIn but not Facebook or on LinkedIn and Twitter and not Facebook or uh, any combination of those things and they can also set up the permissions to allow them to push out a post automatically on Twitter for example but but then require that they review a post before it goes to their Facebook page so there are a lot of options and we'll walk through them it's a terrific tool if you're running a website to enable people to help you out in terms of your promotion and we're obviously using it on Andy and Amy on biz as the main mechanism for pushing content out to the social networks of our of our business associates of the people that we have on the podcast and and friends of the show now one of the things that we get asked a lot is why would someone want to become an ambassador for me and there really are two good reasons well there are three the first is there are certain people in your life who are just willing to help you for whatever reason they're friends they're interested in your business they feel like it provides them some platform to promote themselves whatever the reason is the second thing is that those of you that are working your social media outlets understand that one of the biggest challenges in that space is to continue to produce good content and so you have a Twitter feed or you have Facebook feed or you have your LinkedIn feed and you want to continually put good content up there but if you have to create all of it it's very difficult so if you become an ambassador for a source that you trust you can get great content we hope that people will look at Andy and Amy on biz and say the content you're putting up is really valuable the people who follow me will find it interesting and by you pushing it out to my social media networks you're helping me by providing content so that's the second thing and the third thing is as a company you can offer incentives to your ambassadors so social toaster has very sophisticated tools that allow you to track the performance of your ambassadors and figure out who is really doing a great job whose network is clicking on your links whose people are coming to visit your site and you can set up all kinds of contests and giveaways and things to incentivize those people to become ambassadors and so we haven't done that on Andy and Amy on biz yet but we probably will at some time in the future where we'll have a contest where the ambassador with the most posts or clicks or whatever for a particular month we'll, we'll get some sort of prize so those are the reasons why someone would want to come become an ambassador for your site and uh, you know it's pretty powerful so what we're going to do now is go on over to the Andy and Amy on biz website and I'll show you how to sign up okay so we're on the Andy and Amy on biz website and if you scroll down about halfway you'll see that there is a dialogue box or a, a sidebar widget rather 
on the right hand sidebar that says become an ambassador for Andy and Amy on biz and in this box there are really three things that you could do there is a learn more button and if you click it you'll get a dialog box that shows you various information about social toaster about Andy and Amy on biz and just gives you the general terms of how this all works and explains it and the other link is the see stats link which I'll, I'll get to in a little while once we're signed in so the third thing is the connect now button and if you click that you're going to get another dialog box and this is the basic sign up screen to become an ambassador so as you can see you're becoming an ambassador for Andy and Amy on biz and step one on the right hand side shows you the four networks that are available via social toaster right now Facebook LinkedIn MySpace and Twitter sign up is the same for all four of them I'm going to actually sign up for Twitter right now but they're all exactly the same so I'm going to click on the Twitter icon and you do have to sign up for each network individually once you sign up for Twitter we're not done we have to go into Facebook and we have to go into LinkedIn and we have to go into MySpace and sign up for them individually so I'm going to actually enter Andy Amy on biz and that's our Twitter account for the website and just one note here where I'm entering Andy Amy on biz you'll actually enter in your Twitter account ID and password and I'm gonna put the password in and as you can see I now have authorized app button this is actually a Twitter screen that you're looking at and it's basically Twitter telling you that social toaster as an application is asking for permission to communicate with your Twitter account and this is how this works for any application that you might run on Twitter or on Facebook or LinkedIn or any of those services so if you've added TweetDeck or Hootsuite or any of those that they've asked for that you've seen the same screen and you filled it out so it's a standard Twitter thing so I've entered my username and password and now I'm going to click authorize and so as you can see I've now gotten authorized from Twitter's point of view now because this is a new account I need to create the social toaster account for my account on Andy and Amy on biz so I'm going to put in here Andy and I'll actually use my last name and I'm going to use the info at Andy Amy on biz email address and I'll put in a password and click continue now you should only have to do that the first time you sign up on social toaster for Twitter or for whichever one of the social networks you sign up for so in other words when I go back to Facebook and LinkedIn I will not have to go through that step step three allows me to select my preferences and as I said earlier in the in the screencast you have two choices here one is automatic posts and so that basically says whatever Andy and Amy on biz sends to me I just want it to go out to my network and I don't want to see it I don't want to have to approve it you're still going to get a notification in your email box but you don't have to do anything with it 24 hours later if you don't deny it it will, it will automatically post I typically do that for Twitter and in some cases I do it for the other platforms as well but for, to me Twitter I'm not quite as concerned about what goes out on my Twitter feed as I am maybe on my Facebook news feed and so I might set these differently but for Twitter I'm gonna leave it as automatic posts and click continue and then here's the screen where you now can add additional networks so if I wanted to add Facebook or LinkedIn or MySpace I could do that I'm not going to do that here because it's exactly the same process as we had with Twitter just know that you have to go in and authorize each one individually and then once you're done we're going to click OK and that was step four and then as you can see we're now done so you're now an ambassador of Andy and Amy on biz or whatever other business that you happen to be signing up for we can go into a couple of different things here one is the account settings which is the information that you saw earlier so I'm not going to change any of that and then the other thing which if I had clicked you would have seen is sharing preferences and sharing preferences is that same screen where again you can go back into the individual social media accounts like Twitter for example and as you recall I picked automatic posts which is which you can see but I could change it I could say posts require approval and I'd click this button and then we would change that and actually I'll just do that right here and you can see I'm back to changing what happens in Twitter so I'm going to click authorize app again everything looks great and I've changed the method by which posts are going to get sent up to Twitter and I could also turn Twitter off by just choosing none and again you want to click on each of the individual networks and set these preferences okay I'll go back to account settings and you can see that's still the same and then this is your stats screen if I had clicked on the stats button and actually I'll go out and do that so I'm going to close this 
and go in here and click stats. You'll see what I get here is um, because I just created this there, there's nothing here but you can then anytime you come to our site click on the see stats tab and see how your accounts are performing and you'll see the number of links that you shared for us and the number of clicks per link the total clicks and it just gives you a sense of how your network is performing and again we see those stats as well and we see them cumulatively for all of our ambassadors and we can get a really good sense for how much reach we're getting and who's whose networks perform really well and and that sort of thing so basically that's it we're now signed up as ambassadors and um, when we push a post out there'll be an email so I'm gonna go and show you what that email would look like if you were to get one for a post okay so what you're looking at now is an email that is typical of the type of email that you'll get when we push out some content so this is a post that we did back in the middle of May and actually this is my email telling me that there's content for my Facebook account and I know I said earlier that I that I require approval on Facebook um, most of the time but this this particular example is actually one that will go automatically and the way that you can tell is the link down here in the bottom of the email says stop I do not wish to have this content shared and so the, what happened is I got this email at 622 in the evening on May 18th and sometime around six something in the evening on May 19th this automatically posted to my Facebook page so it basically gave me 24 hours to read it to look at the post and you can see there's a link here in the email to the post so I could have clicked that and opened it and read it here's the title and what's going to show up in the status update and I could have stopped it by simply clicking this link uh, the, the reason that it says stop is again because I've I've set up Facebook on this account to automatically post so if I do nothing in 24 hours this post will be on my page and so that's typical of that sort of email the second email that we're going to look at is one that I have set up and actually this is LinkedIn and Twitter I have set up that only gets posted when I approve it so I got this email again at 622 on the 18th but if I don't click the link down here below that says yes I approve this content this content will never appear on my Twitter and LinkedIn pages and so I have control over that and you can see again I've got a link to the post so I could have gone and read it and all I have to do to get this up on the site is to click the link that says yes I approve this content so it's really that simple that's pretty much how it works from an ambassador's point of view nothing else to it and uh, I hope you'll go sign up on the Andy and Amy on biz website and uh, I hope that social toaster is something that you can use on your own site as well in video number two and three we're going to respectively talk about how to sign up and create your own social toaster account so that you can have ambassadors for your site and we'll go through what the statistics look like and how to manage ambassadors and all of the things that take place on social toasters website and in the third video, I'm going to go through how to modify and install the Social Toaster widget on your WordPress site so you can see what's involved in getting that up. And I'll talk briefly about some of the other platforms that Social Toaster supports with widgets and code and other things. So two more to come, and I hope you'll listen in. Thanks.